The next thing you'll need to know how to do is how to create a new scene. What a scene is, is it's the single file that contains all of your geometry and then links out to things such as your texture files. Uh, and it's really important that you know how to make them and how to save them. So that's what we'll look at. So to create a new scene, you can just click on file, new scene, dead easy. It'll ask you if you want to save the current scene. There's nothing in it, so we don't. And that's done. So that's really straightforward. It's not something we strictly needed to do, but it's something that you needed to know how to do. The next thing that you need to be able to do is to be able to save a scene. And this is really important. If you don't save your work in Maya and save your work regularly, you will lose it. Guaranteed. Maya is a cruel mistress and sometimes she wants you to fail. So let's try and avoid that. So to be able to save a scene, what you do is you just click on file and save scene as. And you should notice that by default, because we've taken the time to set up the project, um, it's gone into the desktop, my projects, room, scenes folder, which is where your scene should go. Every file that you use should go in the right folder. And this one belongs in the scenes one. Um, you've got a choice of file types. There's Maya Binary or Maya ASCII. I used to use Maya Binary all the time, but I now recommend Maya ASCII because it's more likely to allow you to be backwards compatible. So I'm creating this in Maya 2016, and if I wanted to then open that scene in 2014, I'd have a better chance of that working if it's an ASCII file type. So I'm going to change that to ASCII, and then I'm going to call it Room and Save. And that's how you save a scene.